in her I don't trust nobody You been on my body, you remind me of somebody How can I love you, cause I've been her I don't trust nobody You been on my body, you remind me of somebody That I used to know, baby, that I used to know That I used to know, baby, that I used to know Remind me of somebody, girl. I'm starting to think that you know me. I'm like a loving homie. It's kind of weird that you're opposed to. Are you really moving like you know me? Says the baby, what you heard about me? Staying silent, you won't get a word about me. Oh, 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 okay. Tell me why I play 2K. Okay, baby, I had a long day. Feels like it's the wrong thing. Kind of hesitant when you do call me. What's going on, man? First ever podcast, things might be all, um, things might be good, um, I don't know, I just figured, you know, I record, because at the end of the day, <clears throat> I'm never going to do it, but I keep telling myself, do it, do it, do it, and then I keep getting uh, sidetracked and doing other things, I'm never going to do what I got to do, so uh, I say that to say this, man, you got to treat life like the uh, the comments, man, on, uh, on Amazon or something, man, uh, you're never going to buy what you're going to buy reading those comments. So uh, just go for it. And most of the time, man, it's like haters, man. People ain't talking about the product itself. People are talking about the delivery um, or um, something that came chipped um, while it was being delivered. Nothing about the product itself. Um, so you'd be having uh, four-star products um, with one star or whatnot. But not this way up the, up the topic. It's just uh, treat life like that, man. She like like the comments, man. Just go for it, man. Just get it. So, um, yeah, let me take off these uh, lower thirds, man. It's getting annoying already. Um, so, uh, those that do know, you know, www.filthandwealth.com. Definitely active. Um, on that Twitter handle, definitely active. Um, Filth and Wealth as well. On the IG tip, um, it'll be Keeks underscore my last name. Get it right or get it on your left sleeve. Um, so I had a few topics, man. Uh, you know, um, got a couple things written on my, uh, what I want to say, my iPad here. Let me just position this. Uh, got so much shit on here, man. But besides that, man, um, you know, uh, I was watching, um, what you call it, uh, what's this guy's name, um, Mav Hoffa. Mav Hoffa got a great podcast, man. Those guys that haven't checked it out, please do check it out. Great podcast, man, where the guy is um, talking about uh, different things, man, and how he was hated on when he first kicked it off or whatnot. <coughs> My bad. He first kicked it off or whatnot. You know, a lot of people doubted him. He had a lot of people that he wanted to come through. A lot of them didn't come through. Um, a lot of them just like, um, some, you know, somewhat curved him. But, you know, look where he at now. Um, in my, um, my defense, Alexa, turn off the AC. Um, in my defense, um what you call it uh i live too far way too far as you see the shirt i'm repping man my man uh my man gary man shout out to you shout out to Here's what I found. no alexa stop stop um little mama be getting crazy um so um what you call it uh live in jersey so kind of deep so people gonna be trying to come out here but um he had nikki jam on there um, and Nikki Jam said something that, uh, um, you know, kind of resonated with life at the moment. And uh, I'm going to keep fixing this headphone because I'm looking at myself, man. I feel like a dickhead. Um, um, Nikki Jam said, uh, um, you got to take care of yourself. Um, and when you start taking care of yourself, that's when people start kind of looking for you and giving you stuff and wanting to be around you. Um, and that's something that I stopped doing, really stopped taking care of myself. Um, I want to say from a, you know, health perspective, 
um, from uh, what do I want to say? Looks. Um, just overall, just overall, had a lot and been still dealing with a lot. Coming back from dealing from a lot, um, you know, some of the shit I've been dealing with, man, to throw somebody over the roof. Uh, but you know, um, have you playing on the ball with somebody else? An invisible self, man, feeling like nuts or something. Um, but um, it put a lot of things in perspective, and it just told me to just, you know. It's grind time. You know what I mean? It's grind time. Um, definitely getting right. Um, definitely back being active. Um, and uh, just pushing forward. Um, so to segue, you know, using that to segue to this, man, that mental health is a real thing. Um, a lot of people, you know, joke around. Me, I'm one, not, you know, I tend to joke on everything, but I do know when to be serious and when to touch base with people. Um, so do touch base with those people, man, that, um, um, what I want to say first, not touch base with those people, learn how to accept vulnerability. A lot of people don't know how to handle or accept when somebody's being vulnerable. They take it for a sign of weakness when it's really not. It's just somebody being vulnerable. Somebody's trusting you in the capacity to be vulnerable. And I think that we take that for granted. Somebody will come up to us and be like, man, um, my girl just uh, played me or um, or something of that nature or some shit like that. And um, a dude will tell you, no, man up. Then you hear that that dude uh, killed himself. And then you see that same dude and be like, yo, he could have talked to me. I was just with him yesterday. He tried talking to you, bro. You told him, man up. So, um, got to learn how to handle vulnerability. Um, so, um, you know, throughout this podcast, man, uh, I'm going to touch on different things. Um, and uh, just life. And uh, I've been dealing with so many interviews. Um, those who weren't aware, man, I lost my job. Um I'll touch on it, you know, throughout this podcast or later on in this podcast. Um, nothing based off of technicality on my end. Um, you know, just uh, what I want to say. Uh, a dude that was a fuck boy. Well, it is a fuck boy. Um, we'll touch base on him later. Um, um, but we're not paying no mind. I have no energy on that. Um, you got to wake up every day and be a fuck boy. It's a horrible thing. Um but um, with my notes, with my notes. Um, oh, we ain't touching. We ain't talking about summer jam, man. This is how old this was. I'm supposed to be, I'm supposed to be doing this in summer jam. Let me touch base on Summer Jam real quick, man. Pusha T came out, man. The energy was not felt. And this new generation is horrible. Um, Griselda came out. They wasn't felt either. <coughs> Just to reiterate, you know. Also, uh, I see Griselda going back and forth at it with, uh, well, not Griselda Conway going back and forth at it with um, Funk Flex or whatnot. Um, pretty funny. It's running out. Um, I think that's pretty funny. And um want to touch on something too, man. Like um what a, what are you guys um take on uh electric cars? Cuz it's mind-boggling me that we're being forced by I believe 2025 or whatnot to go fully electric. Um, things like this bother me because, um, they're saying that, you know, we're running out of oil, yada, 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 et cetera. But we occupied oil generating companies for years, Iraq for years. And we ran out of oil, Lebanon, 
all these countries that we, you know, created oil oil pipes out of, um, but we're running out of oil. And um, I don't get it. I think we should just focus on uh, hybrid vehicles, not fully EV vehicles. Um, because those pumps are going to be crazy. It takes a long time to fill those cars up. I mean, to charge those cars up. There's a lot of people walking around aimlessly, aimlessly in these malls. With nothing to do. Um, but yeah. Um, what else, man? What else I had here? We'll be more organized, but I figured I had to do this today because um, I'm not going to do it at all. Um, bought all this equipment, did test out a whole bunch of stuff, try to go windows, rather build my own, got an alienware over here that's about to get, um, returned. Um, those that don't know me, man, I'm the return king. Um, no shame in my game. I just bought a printer to print these labels out to make it easier. Um, um, if I like it, I buy it, but if I don't, I return it. You dig? Um. Also, guys, do take, um, do not take this hiatus and this work from home thing for granted. Um, do not also feel, um, what I want to say, desperate or, um, or that you're not worth whatever dollar amount that you're asking for. Um, Take it to consideration that um, you are the brand, and um, the brand doesn't tarnish or fold for anyone. Um, I've been going back at it with a um, bunch, of, bunch of uh headhunters, and um, you know, interviewing some of them. You know, I interview, and I feel like I'm, I'm there. You know, I'm in the building. And then they go ghost um, out of nowhere. Um, I know I crushed it. I know I killed it. And we're discussing pay. Way before that, we discussed pay. And um, then they kind of like, um, you know, they fold. Know your worth. Um, know what you bring to the table at all times. And know that you, whatever you bring to the table, nobody does it better than you. Um, because you are you. I know I could teach you anything. I could coach you. I could run a team. Um, and I put others on. But nobody could do what I do. Um, at my prior job, you know, uh, I wrote the playbook. Playbook is probably still being followed now. Because the manager I had, he ain't know nothing. You know what I'm saying? I'm the one that uh, quarterback the plays. Coached the team. He just showed up at the end, man, just couldn't hold the trophy. Um, he just knew how to report up to his uh, his daddy. Um, that's pretty much it. But know how to find solutions. Know when there's a team member on your team or something. Um, know how to train and develop and coach people and pay it forward. Don't just come up to people and be like, hey, what does this guy do? Well, he doesn't know anything. We got to get rid of him. Nah. Care about people's livelihoods, care about people's lives, and not offsetting somebody's life. Um, but segueing back to this, um, knowing your worth. Um, been interviewing, and uh, Headhunter last week had told me that um, I should dumb down my resume. It's kind of odd coming from her because... Um, She's one of the people that when I uh, interview for the job and they, they sent me everything to fill out, um, I'm about to send over documentation, but then I'm like, whoa, chill. That's another thing. A lot of people are emailing and um, telling people that they're getting jobs or whatnot, but they're asking you to send your social and your ID, um, stuff that you need for your um, W-2 online. Listen, man. I do that when I go on site. I need to see headquarters first. Um, don't send any documentation. Don't get left out there. Um, 
a lot of resume collectors. You know, not to sound biased or, you know, or racist of that nature, but, man, a lot of them, you know, got that Indian accent, man. Those are the, most, those are the ones that leave you hanging. Um, but um, do be mindful. Um, and do keep up with the same consistency that you had on the first interview, on your second interview. Um, just because one door closes doesn't mean that the other one ain't got nothing f- good for you. Keep pushing. Um, um, keep going. Um, make it happen, Captain. Um, that's what we're here for. we definitely active. Um, um, what else, man? What else I want to touch on? In regards to... Uh, nothing else, man. I'm not going, you know lead you guys on or whatnot, but um, we are definitely active. Um, we'll be podcasting more. We'll have things more lined up in order. I um, just wanted to get this off, see how I sound, see what I need to work on, um, something to reference to um, so I could do better. You know what I mean? Because if I 